This is one of Lenovo's new mid-range computers, but very powerful for work. Previously, I've unboxed and showed the computer and everything that comes inside the box. In this video, I will talk about the technology specifications of this computer. And next week, I will do tests and demonstrations of the computer. But first, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. Let's see the specifications and features of this computer, but take note that this model is in the mid-range and has a price of $840. Let's start by talking about the technology. The processor is an Intel Core i5 1135G7. The CPU frequency speed is 2.4 GHz and a maximum of 4.2 GHz. The CPU has four processors and eight threads. It has eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory at 3200 MHz. It has a 256 M.2 NVMe SSD with the interface PCI Express 3. So we'll do speeds up to 3.5 gigabytes per second. The GPU is integrated, is a Intel Iris Xe graphics. The screen has 15.6 inches. The resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels. The keyboard is QWERTY and it has a numeric keyboard. It has a built-in webcam. It is a 720p with a privacy shutter. It has a built-in microphone and the battery is a two-cell battery with 38 watt hour. It comes with a 65 watt charger and the operating system is Windows 10 Home, but in newer versions could come with Windows 11 Home. Let's talk now about the connectivity. The Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi 6, so 802.11 AC standard. Ethernet LAN, it comes with a RJ45 plug at 1 gigabit per second. Bluetooth is version 5.0. It has three USB ports, a USB 2.0 Type-A port, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port and a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C port. It has a one HDMI port version 1.4B and a headphone and microphone combo port. About the physical characteristics, it has a anti-glare screen. The diagonal screen size is 39.6 cm, so 15.6 inches. The length is 235.8 mm, with 359.2 mm. The height is 19.9 mm, and the weight is 1.7 kg. In the product body material are two types of plastic, ABS and PC. Now the features that do not have which can be an important factor in choosing a computer because some technologies are out of use and you might need certain connectivity that a new computer does not have. So it doesn't have a touch screen, it doesn't have a fingerprint reader, it doesn't have a card reader, SD or micro SD, it doesn't have a discrete graphics card, it doesn't have backlit keyboard, and it doesn't have a DVD player. And one thing you can do is to open the computer with only one finger. If you try to lift the screen with one hand, one finger to open it, it opens a little, but the screen support mechanism doesn't rotate enough for that. On one side, it's good because it shows the computer is light. Going into more detail about the processor specs, the processor is an Intel Core i5-1135G7 processor, an 11th Intel processor, the segment is mobile, the release date was the third quarter of 2020, the lithography is 10 nanometers, number of cores 4, number of threads 8, so it has hyperthreading. The socket is a FC BGA1449, the normal frequency speed is 2.4 GHz and the maximum turbo frequency is 4.2 GHz. It has 8 MB of Intel Smart Cache, 
the minimum configurable TDP is 12 watts and the maximum configurable TDP is 28 watts. Memory types, it supports DDR4-3200 and LPDDR4X-4267. Maximum memory that support is 64GB and the maximum number of channels is 2. So it can work with dual channel but will not support quad channel. It also has support for DirectX 12.1, OpenGL 4.6 and OpenCL 3.0. Taking a look at the computer now, we can see the material and the size I mentioned, the keyboard and the size of the keys, the mouse is a single surface without separate buttons, but the buttons exist. Now, regarding the connectivity, on the left side you have the power plug, a super speed USB type A port, an HDMI port, a USB type C port and an audio combo jack. Now on the right side, let's see, we have an LED, a reset button, a plug for a network cable, a USB type A plug and finally a hole for a lock. But I will go into detail about the ports and connectivity in another video. Above the screen you also can see that he has a webcam in the hole for the microphone. The webcam has a special mechanism that allows you to physically cover the lens of the camera to ensure the privacy. Now if we turn the computer upside down we can see that the sides are inclined and there's grills that are for the speakers so the audio can come out and be heard clearly. In the center of the base there are an extensive grill to ventilate the heat of the processor. Despite the grill being long, the fact that it is under the computer, when placed on the table, it is not the best way for ventilation, especially when a computer has very short rubber feet. It leaves little space for the air to circulate. And if the processor is not well cooled down, the computer will heat up and become slow. This is a problematic situation in many computers currently on the market. And for now, that's all I have to say about the specifications and technology of this computer. And I hope this information has been useful for you to choose the best computer for you. With these specifications, it's not the best computer for gaming, but it's a very good computer for work. The 11th gen Core i5 processor will be more than enough for that. And it weighs only 1.7 kilograms or 3.75 pounds. It is not very heavy, but it's possible to find lighter computers on the market. In the next videos, I will open this computer to see the repairability and explain how we can repair or upgrade the components. And I will do speed tests on the computer to evaluate the performance and identify possible problems. So, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week, like this video and if you have any question, write in the comments because I read and answer to all comments.